We should start with this one. Because this is sort of the reason we're here. This is wow. a guitar that was made by a guitar player named Glenn Schwartz. And he was the original guitar player in the James Gang. He was from All right. Cleveland, Ohio. And when I was 16, I used to go see him play this guitar. He played through two quad reverbs wow. in a tiny bar. Which is a That's, big reason why we have the quads. It's the only reason I have the quads is because of Glenn, yeah. And the reason I bought my Harmony, the Heath, Heath kit, was because I oh, wanted okay. this body shape. Because I used to see Glenn's every week. And um, Anyway, he was Joe Walsh's guitar hero. And uh, we just played in Cleveland and his family brought his guitar and let me play it. And then after the show, they said, why don't you take it for the rest of the tour? And so Dang. it's That's very surreal. Yeah. But yeah. this, I used to watch him play this and it was the biggest inspiration for yeah. Black Keys and for when I was starting. Is there anything you've had to do to it to kind of make it, not obviously you're going to change anything, but maybe mm -hmm. to make it a little better no, plane just, or anything? We just clean it up a little bit no. and that's it. it. It has so much of Glenn's mojo yeah. on it. Yeah, you kind of like, don't want to mess with it. You can see that it started life as a regular guitar, but he has hundreds of hours into customizing it. Because look, he's rounded this over. He made these. It's the, Look at the holes. Yeah, the F-hole is amazing. those. This is a solid hunk of brass front to back wow uh also he can you you want to explain these well he was very religious and apparently he, he told me that in the bible it says if you play for the lord you play a 10 stringed instrument so he added the strings wow all his, all the music he played was religious by the way okay it sounded like cream but, but it, was it was religious, religious. yeah, yeah. well I mean, it was right yeah it's a trip he was in a band you guys should look up uh, all saved freak band on youtube the all um, saved freaks all saved freak band yeah yeah that's glenn on guitar and uh with the glenn's guitar is there any songs you're bringing that out specifically for or is it I kind mean, of just how kind you of feel it the whole set really yeah just, just kind of feeling it like what do you want to play on yeah. this song tonight what do you like about that pickup because that just not only that it's, it looks like a mini humbucker but it's yeah. it kind of angled in a weird position well, it was just a, pick, a, a position that he chose yeah because mm -hmm. he and uh, well, I mean, his playing was like shreds too. I mean, he was really, really good. And Not I saw like, him, uh, I, I used to see, I, the first time I saw him, I think I was probably 16. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I ever saw him change that guitar since then. So that's, yeah, that's a lot of Glenn. Mm -hmm. What's the next one we're so gonna look at here? the next one is this. <laughs> I can love this guitar. Wow. So this is a PV wow. Razor and um, <laughs> This guy named T-Model Ford used to play a PV Razor, just like this. Wow. And um, we decided to put one together. Because I called my friend Bruce, who runs Fat Possum Records, and I said, whatever happened to that guitar that T-Model played? I, mean, what, I, I didn't even know what it was. And he said, oh, it's a PV Razor. He said his son stole it and, <laughs> and like, stripped it and sold it. And, but anyway, so we kind of, I tracked one down, and we put it together, and my friend Mickey, um, put these stickers on uh, <laughs> just like t-model just okay like t-model complete got homage says, and we've got the uh yeah the tail dragger it's just like you know, so. i love that anyway and what was the knob there i heard you're like a, oh it's like a six pos position okay it's, a, it's the uh the pickup selector gotcha. switch volume yeah. tone zone all the hardware mm -hmm. on the guitar is nothing like t-models was uh these are like you know the arm and gold foils off of a harmony oh all right and this is a k and i made this bridge to look you know, and this arm too, just to kind of make it, it into his own thing. Is like this we like were a hat rack, like the last one that custom no, you had? No, that's just actually rack? just a yeah. I remember <laughs> that uh, on the green guitar. Yeah. Uh, no, that's just a plate of uh, brass. Huh. Yeah. Apparently, you can make a brass big speed tremolo arm. This sort sort of started <laughs> out as it's like there was this weird fun idea, and then it just it really plays good, and it's fun to play, and the trem is really buttery and smooth. Super and rubber.